Cyclists and people of all ages stepped out today for the Love Institute's Bike and Walk event, which toured residents through nine of their five feet tall fiberglass hearts. Today we are celebrating 10 years of service in the Bronzeville community. The interesting thing is that art and restorative practice is really at the foundation of what we did here. The hearts were designed by residents to reflect what they consider their normal to be. As the CDC um, says that two out of every three young people have experienced trauma by the age of 16. Uh, after the pandemic, that's probably every neighborhood in Chicago, but our kids who are in the south side are most at risk. Nizan Wilburn says that statistic is reflected in the uptick in senseless acts of violence, like the shooting death of a 17-year-old CPS student in the Kenwood neighborhood Friday afternoon. If we can start to do more things that are love-related and restorative, I think we can start we can start to pull back some of the things we're seeing today. The organization believes in getting the community involved, giving them a space to speak their needs and having them heard will go a long way. In light of the violence that we are experiencing, love really makes a difference, right? And so when we think about love, we think about connectedness, unity, uh, living from our shared values so that we could now create a more safer Chicago. Reporting in the city's south side, Christine Flores, WGN News.